Hello there. After long last, my new novel, Dark River, is nearly ready for publication. I'm in the final editing process and if the formatting and publishing procedure goes smoothly, I am hoping for publication on Amazon in early February. The novel is a historical flashback story with stories from the history of the Thames intertwining with the story of Julia, the main character. As she learns about the river's history, she also learns more about herself and her life changes as the history evolves. There is a metaphysical element to the story with a, a character who guides the process and he himself appears to be mysteriously and spiritually connected to the river. I love London and I love rivers and I love history. I also love the magical and mysterious. So this novel is an accumulation of all those things. But it doesn't just stay in London. I have tried to introduce stories from different parts of the Thames, from its source to the estuary. It's been a, a fascinating journey. Anyway, I thought it would be a good idea to post a little teaser here to give you a bit of a flavour of the beginning of the novel. I'm going to read a brief extract from chapter one entitled Waterloo Sunset. It's a page or two in from the beginning and previous to this extract, the main character, Julia, had already had what seems to be a chance meeting with a mysterious stranger on Waterloo Bridge at sunset. Later, she feels compelled to come back to the bridge and this reading is from that moment. As usual, whenever I ventured out, which was not often, I instinctively walked towards the river. It pulled me as if with some gravitational force of its own. And within a few minutes, I found myself back on Waterloo Bridge. It was now about 7.30 and the neon blue ring of the London eye caught the attention in stark contrast to the golden yellow lights that lit up the Houses of Parliament. Below, the water calmly reflected them, fusing them together with lights from the Jubilee Bridge, like an Impressionist painting. It came as no surprise to see a tall figure with long flowing hair, leaning against the parapet looking out on this scene, starkly still in contrast to the constant bustle of people now out for an evening of pleasure and entertainment, heading towards the National Theatre and other delights of the South Bank complex. Yet I felt a kick in my gut and pinpricks all over my skin as I confirmed to myself that something very weird was happening. He turned as I approached, as if he had sensed my presence. There seemed nothing threatening about him, although the lights reflected in his eyes seemed to dance against dark and unfathomable depths. I felt in awe of him. There was something wild and ancient about him, even though he did not exactly look old, though if asked, I could not have specified his age. He smiled at me and said, we meet again. Yes, I replied. I didn't really know what else to say. We both looked out onto the river. Do you know what it is you are looking for? He asked. I did wonder whether he thought I was someone else. I I'm sorry, I replied. I'm not sure what you mean. I, I don't think I'm looking for anything. He turned towards me. But you are looking for something. Otherwise, you would not have called me. Now I really did think he had mistaken me for someone else. But I haven't called you. I don't even know who you are. Every night you have called me as you stand on this bridge. This was getting far too weird for me. I shouldn't have come out. It was time to go back home. I'm, I'm very sorry, I stammered, but I think you have me confused with someone else. 
I have never seen you before this evening and I don't usually call anyone I've never met. I'll be going now. I move to turn away. But you are Julia Bates, are you not? I stopped and turned back to him. How do you know? Oh, I'm, I'm really sorry, but if we have met before, I just don't remember you. I, I, I don't really... He smiled, acknowledging my discomfort and held out his hand. You can call me Ewan. I was pretty sure I had never met anyone called Ewan before, but I took his hand. It was cool and firm. I still don't... No matter. All the same, I have a proposal for you. What kind of a proposal? At that moment, a passing taxi honked his horn so loudly at a cyclist cutting in front of him that I jumped. Ewan turned his head as if to make sure that the cyclist was all right and turned back to me calmly. Perhaps we should find somewhere quieter. Come. He turned and headed towards the northern strand end of the bridge. I could have left then. My usual instincts told me to turn round and walk the other way, and for a moment I looked towards home and hesitated. But a new and unfamiliar instinct told me that I would probably regret it if I did not follow him. So, I followed him. If you would like to read more, then please subscribe to my channel, or you can go to any of the links below. If you want to be notified of when the book is published and it will be at a discount price for the first week or so, then you can also subscribe to my Facebook page where I will be publishing notifications as soon as it is available. You can also find links below to my website and Amazon page. I do hope you enjoy reading the book. Cheers for now.